trying to level them. There's really no like super great way that I could think of to level them. So uh, I was just doing some uh, bounties trying to get those legendaries. Yo, Kitrill, how you doing? <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger or something like that. <laughs> yeah, basically. Thank you for uh, contributing to that point challenge. We are 74% raised. Holy crap, dude. We have one minute left, supposedly. Give me one second. I'll be right back. It might actually already be over. Oh, dude, we may have just missed that community challenge. We did, literally by like, we would have had like 30 more minutes. I think people would have been able to contribute enough to it. Today's just not my lucky day, that's all right. Oh, you get your points back? Well, hey, that's good at least. And maybe, you know, knowing that, I'm going to have to tell people that just in case, you know, they don't want to use their points for that. It's only fair you punish me for the failure. I guess so. <laughs> I, I guess so. All right. Man, punishing me for uh, the community failure, though, thats that feels kind of harsh. Uh, I will do those push-ups, though. Why can I not teleport there? What's going on here? Did I click on the wrong thing? Oh, man, I clicked on the right thing. Oh, no, that's where I'm at? Is that... That's... Hold on a second. Wait, what? <laughs> right. Okay, so apparently I can't teleport there. It's like the only place I can't teleport. So I guess I'm going to have to run from the forest enclave to get to the stronghold. No, wait, I'm at the stronghold. Hold on a second. I thought I already did that. Oh, no, I guess I didn't. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do squats instead today. That way I don't have to get down on the ground. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Goodness gracious. All right. He said he said that I could he said that I could change it if I wanted to. For the record. <laughs> All right. Which way do I need to go? So I found out that there's like two good anomaly builds for Pyro and I'm trying the one that I've seen less. Well, and maybe I didn't know that there was two builds. So it's very possible that I just didn't notice the difference between the two builds.
This uh, this current build that I'm working on right now is a full map-wide destroy build, basically. It's meant to hit, like, everything on the map. So it's definitely going to be something to behold once we get part of the build done. Why I'm in World Tier 1 is just because I'm doing bounties. That's that's why I'm here. I was honestly just trying to get some easy experience. So I was like, why not do bounties and just uh, World Tier 1 it? What up, Philzy? How you doing? And like, ideally, <laughs> this is how I run this at World Tier 1, is getting as many units as possible to spawn, and then watch watch my minimap. <laughs> it's such a nice feeling. Yeah, my legs need to get a workout anyhow. Okay, so where is this supposed to be taking me? I need to go through here? Okay, that works. Stuck on your Devastator at World Tier 13. Hey, that's... I mean, that's fine. Hey, I can help you out today, Philzy. I'm going to be doing... Uh, World Tier 13 is the equivalent of... Level-wise, it's the equivalent of challenge tier. Challenge tier seven or eight. No, wait. Six, six or seven, I think. Something like that. I think it's actually, yeah, it's seven or eight. I think it's seven. Bill Z. And uh, how you do that, Philzy, is you keep running. Uh, oh, it's in the forest area, and it's uh, it's like one, it's the last forest area, I think, and it's uh, clear the path. Is the one that I did over and over again to raise my world tier on my other character. And thank you so much for that, Hydrate. All right, let's aggro as much as possible. Oh, Kim T, what? Yeah, and Pyro today, we're finally hitting Pyro. We're, we've got... Two days of Pyro, and then I'll be uh, probably playing some of that Monster Hunter Rise since the new update's coming out. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my darndest to be able to at least do something in in challenge tier in challenge tier uh, 15 by then. I I don't know. I have two days. Hopefully RNG uh, you know is on my side. I've got quite a few useful mods, so there's that. Across all my characters, I can always put a mod on one character and move it to the other. I've got that going for me. 
Oh, on this, uh, on this character, on this world tier, I really don't have to round up mobs. I just got to get them to spawn. For what I'm doing, anyways. Well, I mean, maybe Kim T. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to check. We're, we will certainly be checking. And this also gives me a good opportunity to play with some of the lower tier players that if they want to play these next two days, because uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna, you know, starting over gives me that opportunity. And by lower tier, I just mean the people who haven't been able to get up in the challenge tiers yet. She's real close to outliving her usefulness. Because RNG plays a pretty big factor and a lot of this, like a crap ton of it. What spec am I trying for? I'm going for the, uh, what is it called? A few people's done a video on it, so I'm not going to call out anyone in particular, but it is a uh, Ash Blast Overheat Pyromancer. Oh, no, 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 I, I'm fine. I've got a, I've got an individual that I really like their videos. And you know what? I'll tell you, I'll go ahead and tell you which guide I'm using. I'm using a uh, Chadley 99's guides. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw, get a, a name drop here. Chadley 99 has some great videos uh, on his uh, pyro. He's, he's doing like a build. He's doing as many builds as possible as he can for pyro. So he seemed like the right guy for me to kind of, kind of follow. Hey man. You got to give credit where credit is due. The guy, the guy really does make some good guides. Like he really does. I usually try not to do that, but I mean, I, I, it is what it is, man. He makes good guides. Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Like, I will say that there's other good guides. Like, dude, if, if any of the videos, uh, he just explains each part well, is what I like about it, is he thoroughly explains everything about his build, and I really like that. I think that that's how it should be done. You know, he, he actually grabbed my attention whenever one of the first things, like, he said in, like, whenever he was showing his gear, is if he, he was like, if you can't get this, just get this. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, that's that's what I need. Thank you. Maybe you'll turn up around here again. If you can turn invisible, it may not be so easy to spot him. If August wants to be found, August will find us. It took a long time for August to trust me. But count me in. <laughs> All right, Bacon. Hey, man. Try to take it easy, and I hope to see you again soon, man. Well, this should be interesting. You know, get well. Here, you know what? I'll I'll do you better. I'll I'll send a link. On the off chance that it wants to rewind it and stuff. I need to. One second. That's the guy that I'm using. Currently, I'm actually using two different guides. He has two different guides. He has one for the debuff guide, which can get 210% debuff on enemies. And then there's this one that I am trying to do, which is the one I haven't seen very often. Uh, now, I will say this. If you're playing a team and you want to help your team out by doing extra damage, that's that's the 210% one. That's the one I didn't leak. But it's easy to find it. He made that guide too. Well, it's okay for me to throw, you know, throw, throw names out. It's, you know, it's my channel. What I don't like is whenever, you know, people just name drop without permission. That's what I don't like. I, I will always give credit where credit is due. 100%. That's why, you know, any, you know, anyone who's uh, streaming and then raids me, they will always get a shout out. 100%. Because, you know, they did something for me. I might as well do something back. I 
It's the very least I can do. Thank you so much for following. Is that Lewis Hoggy? Welcome to the Warband. Thank you so much for that follow. Glad to have you here. Like, I've done a pretty good job of uh, not looking up guides uh, for the most part. I glanced at them to see, like, like why they chose certain abilities over others um because i mean they did their research already why why do i need to spend you know they spent like 200 hours before they even made the guide a lot of the times so why i, I shouldn't have to spend 200 hours to find out the same thing if they already put up a video for it so yeah <laughs> But I'm loosely basing it off of there. I'm seeing what he does and then seeing if I can uh, make it more for me after that. Because some things people do uh, build wise, it may be better, but it's a uh, little bit more, a little bit more work. Not to mention more legendaries. I certainly don't have like all the tier three mods. <laughs> Because uh, that's a lot, dude. That's a lot of playing to have all the tier 3 mods. It's a uh, hashtag free loot, and I will soon be uh, doing that raffle, and I'll be putting it in the Discord. Uh, because that way I don't. Because I'm I'm gonna be giving away quite a few Steam games, quite a few. Because I'm I'm backlogged on Steam games, you know, games that people have given to me, and uh, also from the humble bundle, and uh, I'll be posting those in the next week. Uh, as soon as I have the time to round up all those codes, I'll be uh, giving those away and I'll be posting proof of like the uh, the raffle and everything in the Discord. That way all of the winners can get their games and start playing them at their leisure. I'm going to be giving away, I don't know, over, at least 10 games, if not more. I've actually, <laughs> one of the reasons I've been putting it off is because uh, my codes that I, I, I thought I deleted all the codes um, that I had already given away, but I forgot to like save the delete. And so now I got to go back through and find out what I have and what I don't have. So there's like, I don't know, like 18 codes I got to figure out are already used. <laughs> and uh, it's going to take me a minute. Yeah, and that's uh that's just good manners, mana. Like, you know, if someone's like, I was watching someone and they did this, that's fine. That's not a name drop. That's just talking about something you saw. But I've had people come in and name drop and then leave. And and that's uh that's rough, man. Because it makes me want to go to the person that they name drop and be like, so this happened. That's not okay. Okay, so all the gear that I'm finding right now is not going to be worth a darn. I'm done here. Let's get going. You know, I'm amazed that people can complete bounties and hunts in like under 45 minutes. 
I get sidetracked so easy. That lightning? That was strange. Well, this should be interesting. Might as well put my skills to good use. Wendigo. I think I've heard of Wendigo. I think that at one point people were farming Wendigo for uh for drops. Apparently my title didn't save. That's great. Okay. I gotta fix that real quick. It's going. Uh, we're getting near the end of the bounties. Weird. There we go. Yeah, I can get back Nino Cooney. Uh, you know, actually, I can't. It's uh, it's already in my library and already downloaded and ready to play. <laughs> we, I'm for sure playing that game at one point. I swear I am. I will find time. Oh, posture check. Posture check. I thought I was being p pretty good about it today. Oh, oh, all these guys, they're going to kill me. Bop. How you doing, Vicious? Let's aggro as much junk as possible. Oh, it got dark. What the heck? That was simple enough. I need you to slouch more. <laughs> you just got a good, uh, nice, man. A good uh, Eye of the Storm run. Congratulations. Eye of the Storm is... Uh, it's a... Uh, <laughs> It's a pain. I know for two of my uh, for two of my three that are up there, I know that it would be hard. But for my Devastator, he'd probably be the best one to run Eots. Where is this? I don't know where this is at. You got two legendaries at Thunderbird and a Temper. I guess that that was uh, it 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 is special, but normally you don't get that good of drops. 
like vicious got super lucky uh that he got thunderbird and well i mean thunderbird's great having tier three uh tier three lightning whip is great uh but like i didn't get i didn't get anything out of it but also i wasn't me and my group were having a hard time getting gold At the time, yeah. It's a, uh, it's one of the shortest things. Like if you can, if you can consecutively run, uh, Eye of the Storm on gold, I, I bet it, I bet you could technically get some good drops out of it. But it's just, uh, unless you're really well, well prepared, uh, it's going to be hard to do it on 15, let alone gold. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just rough, man. You got to get it. You, it's a map you got to complete in under six minutes. And the boss is just so hefty. Oh, hi. Give me those. Maybe they were cloned a million times. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 you know what? I didn't notice that. I really didn't. I just click on them and go about my day. The comment mod's so good. Like, I'm so glad I have it. So, so freaking glad. It's, it turned my Devastator into doing okay to doing great whenever I was playing him. Okay, so I've got just three more hunts, and then, oh gosh, and then I'm going to try a drop pod, and depending on how it goes, it's going to have to be tier one, and I probably won't be able to do it. I'm going to have to figure out how to level pretty quick. But I am definitely getting started on uh, on CTs tonight. Challenge tiers on this character. 100%. And I'll probably, let's be honest, I'll probably end up going the debuff route just so other people can do more damage. Because it just, it, it would be a nice thing to do for everyone else since everyone else has helped me out that <laughs> Everyone else has helped me out tremendously in that area. So it's kind of my turn to give back, I think. Depending on how lucky I get, that is. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't activate it. Yeah, <laughs> I found that grabbing two weapons with large clips and just putting Comet mod on them after I quit leveling so fast uh, was the easiest way to kill stuff. Like, you just level your two weapons every time you level, and you have Comet on them, and it, you, you just smash stuff. At every level, you just smash stuff. You could probably do this same, pretty much the same thing with Storm Whip 3, too, though. Not not quite as easy, I think, but uh, it would still do a tremendous amount of damage.
what he says. I don't want to be around when you lose control. I don't want to be around when you lose control. I don't want to be around when you lose control. When you lose control. It's so hard to hold. Ooh, honeydew melons. Ooh, that sounds tasty. I haven't had honeydew in a minute. Usually only eat honeydew whenever I went over to the, like, grandparents for the holidays. Easy peasy. I'll probably... I, I'm not very high in the world tier, but for the last one, I'll probably raise it just for better rewards. I'm going to try to get this phoenix nestling as soon as possible. That way, whenever I raise it, I don't just get completely trampled. Oh, I didn't kill him in one hit. Uh-oh. Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, and I hear that some people, the same build that I'm doing, apparently some people are going down the center tree. Like, partial bottom and then center tree for, like, super tankiness. Which we may give that a shot, too, if I... Feel like I'm dying too much. Sand shifter, man, if they had like sandworms in this, that would have been great. Yeah, man, if I make it there, I certainly will. I'm really focusing on the pyro today because I've got uh, 
I've got two days before... I've got... Wait, what? Did someone join my game? What? The heck just happened? Did I aggro creatures? I'm super confused. There we go. You need to get the legs and the comet mod right, right. I'm gonna do my best, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna push as hard as I can. I've got one more I think I've got one more hunt to do, and then I'm gonna attempt at at nineteen or twenty, I'm gonna attempt the first pod. I may not be able to do it just yet. But I've got two days to play this game, and then uh, I've got a big update dropping for another game I really, really, really enjoy. I'm really, uh, I'm really sad, man, that they didn't release an update for this game this week. I was really hoping. Oh, that's awesome. Er, man, finding those perfect purples is... Uh, in, some, in some cases, I feel like it's harder than getting a freaking legendary that I need. Or just as hard, I should say. So congratulations on at least finding those legs until uh, until you can get those legendaries you're looking for. Which I know, I know, man, I know that the uh, the set bonuses are huge. Like you can't compare like if you already have two pieces, you can't compare the last piece to a legendary or the last like purple to a legendary. I mean. Oh, I hope that wasn't the last one. I kind of just rushed through that. I can definitely see why people run all of these except for the last one on world, tr uh, world tier one, <laughs> because it's just so easy. So very easy. Where is she? Am I tripping? Where is she? She's right here. Gloves and boots. So if you get the uh, Akaris legs, you can swap out, right? What would you do, Jakob? Okay, so this is actually going to be probably pretty difficult. This next area. Because I'm going to raise the world tier as high as I can go, which isn't very high. And it's probably still going to whoop my butt. I didn't even realize it was even at 7. Okay. Uh. I mean, if you want, I'm trying to just get this thing done as quickly as possible, regardless of how I do it. Like, if I wanted, like, a huge challenge, I would have just, like, kept leveling my world tier and struggled through it. 
Uh, what the heck, dude? Here, let me put it on friends. My bad. Where? Oh, yeah. Did I? I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I leveled. I need to level my weapons. Oh, I can't. Hold on a sec. I wished upon a star last night and thought of you. But it must have been a dream cause you're not and I'll say this. If you want to get shards, like if, you're, if your big thing is, is that you're missing shards, I would not recommend doing it like getting items just for shards in, uh, in uh, drop pods and expeditions. I would not recommend that. Because you can get items just just for shards. You can get items much quicker doing other things. Like I was just running these, and uh, I was just running these hunts, and I think I was farming world tier at one point in some experience at the uh, at the forest. And man, I kept I, I kept filling up. Where where do I need to go? We just need to leave this and then, yeah, out of here. Thanks for joining me, buddy. I don't think I'll be able to one-shot everything on the map now that I raised the world tier. Darn sure can't. I went from one-shotting them to that, but I have Comet. Eagle Peak has 11 boxes you can get without fighting. That's crazy. I would say, though, like, if, if you have, like, if you need to level world tiers and you also need to get stuff for shards... Uh, I, you can you can do both of those at the same time really easy. Or if you just need shards, you can level your world tier and get three legendaries. Where is that last guy? There he is. Am I going the right way? I do believe so. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Did I go the wrong way? I might have went the wrong way. Yeah, I did go the wrong way. We, I don't know if we had to fight these guys. That's fine, though. Experience is good. Getting too greedy. Too greedy. Too greedy. I will say, uh, another thing I'll say is, uh, I noticed, uh, today especially, whenever me and, me and my fiance were playing a little bit, like, she was leveling a Technomancer, I was leveling this, but her Technomancer was, like, 22, and the scaling on this stuff is absolutely ridiculous. I don't need to open that door. <laughs> it's just, you just got a legendary dude. Did I go the wrong way? I totally went the wrong way. Do I have to go? 
I guess we do have to go around. Yeah, we do. Okay. I say hacks too, man. World Tier 7 finding legendaries. Uh, can you imagine if that would have been the pants you needed? Can you imagine, man? That would have been insane. Like, I know it wasn't, but that would have been crazy awesome. I know it's just a cannonball chest. I saw it, but it's still legendary. I know. I, I do know, however, that it's just a cannonball outfit. I don't know if anyone's done any cool builds with the cannonball outfit yet, but it didn't seem very... Uh... Wait, do I need to go that way? I think I do. Oh. Oh, I started a fight, didn't I? Okay. Cool. Path to the obelisk is clear. August and I are just right behind you, Outrider. Shouldn't you be waiting in the camp for my signal? Sorry, August slipped out. I couldn't. Uh... Might as well put my skills to good use. All right, there we go. This is the last hunt before I uh, <laughs> before I attempt a uh, tier one CT. I am going to turn in and try to hope to God that I get some sweet uh, legendaries, though. Oh, this guy looks cool. Do believe that's it go back to camp make sure really quick and then go uh turn these in get me two legendaries that are uh may mm. would it be wise uh I, I there's no point in i guess waiting to turn these in Yep, got them all. Oh, time to open a bottle of water. Got to stay hydrated. Yeah, to where you finish him. That's what I thought, too. That's why at first I said maybe I should wait, and then I was like, oh, never mind. Because, I mean, the trick is doing all of them at World Tier 1 except for the last one, doing it as high as you can. Uh, which means that my... I think my bounty's going to be lower level than my... than my uh, hunt, maybe. A Kirkle water bottle, and it's awesome. A Kirkle. I feel like I've heard that before. I just don't know exactly what that is. Where am I right now? I'm lost. 
啊。Oh, a circle. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> after reading it, when after you said that, I was like, okay, yeah, that that, that makes more sense. No, I didn't know. I didn't want to know what you're selling. I want to turn in stuff. Um, let's see here. Anomaly. We'll just go with Anomaly. Nice. Although I really need to look at the mods. That's actually, I feel like, more important. I don't know. Ooh. I will take that, thank you. That'll do nothing. Hello Dynamic, how are you? Mm. Do. You give me high and right away. We be chasing our hearts till we end up falling. Young in the life we were run away. I'll just get this one. Oh no, I'll I'll be e Okay, I'm guessing no one can hear me now. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Huh? Okay, so can everyone hear me? Okay, on my end it's showing that I have no sound. <laughs> So I was about to restart it, and I guess, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. That's funky. It, like, did a weird thing where I thought it was going to crash, and it did not do that. Oh, I'm fine with people, I, I, you know, I'm fine with people playing, you know, playing with me. 
uh, on those pods, you know, but if people don't want to do the low pods, you don't have to force yourself. <laughs> like, that's all there is to it. You know, I, I certainly don't expect uh, people to want to do low pods. Oh yeah, I guess that's true, you, and that's that's cool. It's cool to, uh, I mean, I'm glad that they kind of gave a reason to do uh, lower stuff. You know what I mean? I'll get this for the mod. Okay, so it's gonna show me grabbing all of these. Oh, I got, I leveled. That's what's up. Okay, what legendary am I gonna get? Uh, foot of the, feet at the cannonball, boom. Okay, I'll take it though. Status power and skills life leech are two things I'm going to be looking for. This one. And any mods that I don't have. Oh yeah, I grabbed Death Chains just then. It still makes me sad that I found out that Death Chains and Calm It sometimes bug. So using the two together isn't a very good choice, just FYI, in case someone didn't already know. Let's see what legendary gives me. Wow, two levels? Dang, all right. Man, those are totally worth doing. That's kind of shocking. The bulwark, what a bulwark. That's cool. Wish it wasn't something that I could buy, but hey, I will take it. How do I get out of here? All right, let's go try some pods. Yeah, shards is real, man. Like, it's a huge deal. <laughs> because uh, there, on one of my characters, 
literally the only thing that was holding me back at one point from being able to do higher tiers was just not having enough shards. Or at least higher tiers faster. To be more specific. Resistance piercing, yeah. Oh, it, it's in every camp? Oh, okay. All right, Dynamic, I'm going to open it, buddy. It is open for you. Get in here whenever you can. Okay, so we're going to try to do the quickest places. And actually, uh, so I, I watched a video, and I'm not sure how true it is, but they said basically the gist of the video, and I, I'm sorry, I don't remember whose video it was. I watched it and forgot who it was. It was, in, it was at like 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, but uh, apparently if you're not getting the drops that you need, it might be because you didn't do all the expedition maps. And I don't know how true that is, but I figured you guys would want to know that. Alright. Oh, he teleported. He looks crazy. You look pretty cool, man. So I'm going to try to make sure to do one of each just in case. Alright, let's get to it. I'm actually like Well, it's not, and, and here's the thing, is the way that they explained it is that it's unlocks. It's not necessarily you get it only from one place. Uh, of course. I'll wait until you get back in. But, uh, yeah, the way that they explained it is it's more of an unlock. Like, once you do this map, it unlocks the drop anywhere. So it really confused me. I was like, I, I, I don't know if there's any proof for that. But I mean, if it can help me get the drops I need, then I might as well do all of the maps. You know what I mean? I need cooldown. Cooldown? Do I really not have one with cooldown? Does mine have cooldown? It already has cooldown. I'm not even going to put on pur purples, man. I'm actually not. I'm not. Just not even going to put them on. Give me all those mods. All right.
I'm just glad that their health bar is moving whenever I hit them. I don't feel like I'm doing too bad. <laughs> uh, I know that uh, I was able to handle tier one and tier two since I already had some mods uh, around 26 ish. So hopefully whenever I get around that level, I'll be able to really start help pushing. The biggest difference is going to be the average item level. Like, that's the first thing that I got to remedy. Oh, I just got free my free revive. <laughs> that's such a cool skill. At the very least, what I like about this is that uh, I'm pretty sure that Vicious is at least profiting off of me putting things on fire, since he's a uh, higher level pyro. So at least I have that benefit going for me. Um, uh, You know what? Will I revive after that? No. Yeah, I will. Okay, cool. And what I'm gonna I'm gonna prioritize just spamming leveling my weapons uh, first and foremost, and just putting on blue gear as I go. I'll actually quit doing my AOE spam. Uh, overheat, I do believe. I think it's overheat. Yeah, it's it's overheat. Uh, I think that uh, I just did it. Impulse. I think that uh, Vicious is also using overheat, and his is going to be more powerful, so I'm just going to light things on fire. Can't wait to see that sweet, sweet experience from opening the pod.
Oh yeah, I'll definitely level. You get the, you get, I mean, you get a chunk of experience from killing things, but the best experience is as soon as you open the pod. I do think I'll level. Well, I might. It, I don't know if the pod experience is determined based off of your uh, CT or not, but I do believe I, I, I think I should level off of it. You got, you got me uh, second guessing myself, Abby. <laughs> I'm 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 pretty sure. Uh, positive, not so much. For Seth. Dynamic. I'm curious about something, man. If you get a chance, uh, go to speedtest.net and test your connection. I'm. Um, not right now. Not why. Not why you're connected to me. But uh, if you get a chance while you're not connected to me, I would like to know maybe what your uh, millisecond response time is. Your ping. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I don't know. I feel like that that might have something to do with uh, why me and you have such a terrible connection to each other. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't skip this. You again. Again. Why do you persist in this vanity? Wasted your last words. Well, yeah, I mean, <sighs> we'll see. We'll see if they fix it because, uh, you know, a lot of that was supposed to already be fixed. I hope they do. I mean, I really do hope they do. I'll just get up. Dude, I didn't have anywhere I could go. That's expected from the bosses, though. I'm going to try to handle the little guys if I can. As soon as, it's, as soon as I spawned, though, man, I got hit by lasers. Ah, Lasers and tornadoes. We got to kill those little bosses. Okay, that was unexpected. Us losing was uh, not okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. I wonder if it's going to give me the stats. I need to see some things. I mean, obviously, I know I didn't do much, so I can't say much, but I do need to see the stats. Uh, Dynamic, man, I just think you're lagging too bad. Your connection to me is making it to where you did only a tenth of the damage I did. Like, that's rough, man. 
And I don't blame you for it, but yeah, I think I think I think for now you're gonna have to sit it out. That's that's rough, dude. That that is that's that's not okay. Marcus, what's up, dude? Like I'm I'm really sorry to be that guy, but that's that's bad, dude. I'm hoping you said that like like you said the the fix but it's man I I mean there's nothing we can do about that right now I mean if I was doing if I was doing more damage uh I could carry, I could help carry, but seeing as how I'm weak too right now, it's really hard on uh, on Vicious here to have to carry both of us whenever you should be doing more damage than me, 100%. Like, you should definitely be doing more damage than me. But the thing is, is uh, I know that the damage that you're doing isn't because you're a bad player. It's just because of a bad connection. So Marcus, how you doing, buddy? Dropping that stretch in on me. No, no, not forever, man. <laughs> Dynamic. No, it's nothing like that. I'm hoping that after the update, everything will be fine. And then we'll get another chance to... Uh, because, you know, I'm not... Your connection with me right now, I don't think is necessarily an internet... I, I don't think it's fully an internet issue. That's why I asked about your speed test. Uh, and if you would do one. It's because I was curious on if that was the issue or if it's just because of their server problems. And if it's their server problems, then whenever they fix the servers, we'll be able to, you know, we'll be able to play normally.
I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. We're just, uh, we've got two more days of uh, awesome Outriders fun. I'm going to be playing with the community as much as possible these next two days. As soon as this character is uh, a little bit higher, I, I I don't know. I may spend tomorrow just getting on my best character and helping people. I'm not sure yet, but I want to. We're trying out the pyro, and then we'll be playing Monster Hunter Rise again here in a few days. But yeah, I'm doing good, man. I'm glad you stopped by to say hi. 